In the small town of Peel, Isles of Man, in the historic parish of Germany, where the Peel Engineering Company originally manufactured from 1962 to 1965, created the first three-wheel microcar called the P-50. The Peel 50, designed as a city car, it was advertised in the 1960s as a capable of seating one adult and a shopping bag. The vehicle's only door was on its left side and equipment included a single windscreen wiper and one headlight. Standard colors were Daytona white, dragon red and dark blue. The 1963 model retailed for £199. When new, it's about £1,400 in 2010, or in the US, $2,200. The company produced 50 P50s, and only 27 are known to still exist one of which was sold for a record of 176,000 US dollars at a Sotheby's auction in March 2016. The Peel P50 was and is still road legal in the UK and being in the three-wheeler category. It is now also street legal in the US. Cars were exported to other countries, sometimes being classified as a moped. In 2010, Peel Engineering in England started remanufacturing the P50 and Trident models from its premises in Sutton in Ashfield, England. Externally, this car is very similar to the original bearing, the same dimensions and curb weight as the original, but with mechanical differences in the suspension, steering and drivetrain, as well as a fully functioning reverse gear, ensuring they are road legal on today's roads. Petrol models with a 49cc 4-stroke engine are being produced as well as electric models with an electric moped motor and gelled electrolyte batteries. With a car that has a side engine, 3 speeds and no reverse even though in Forza Horizon 4 you can reverse the car that's just the mechanics of the game. This little English car holds the record as the smallest car ever to go in production, making it listed in the 2010 Guinness World Records. The Peel P50 size and width means that it can quite easily fit through doorways and enter buildings as demonstrated by Jeremy Clarkson during a sequence on a 2008 episode of Top Gear. With a top speed of approximately 37 miles per hour, turning in a confined area could be achieved only by pushing or lifting the car using the handle on the rear and physically pulling it around. In 1963, as a publicity stunt, a Peel P50 was taken to the top of Blackpool Tower in the lift and driven around the observation balcony. On February 15, 2013, at the Bruce Weiner auction, a genuine 1964 Peel P50 with the registration number ARX37B sold at $120,000 which equals £80,000 in the UK. The Peel P50 featured on an episode of the US game show I've Got a Secret shown on the 6th of October 
1963. The car also featured in a 2009 episode of The Extra Factor, in which Holly drove the car into the X Factor studio. A P50 again appeared in a Top Gear episode in 2013 when it was contrasted with the P45. Six 2011, Peel Engineering Limited has put their cars in many other famous media campaigns, including Cadbury's Bubbly Advertisement, Ford Transit Advertisement, Fab Mini Ice Lolly Campaign, Top Gear China, Top Gear Australia, Top Gear USA, ABC USA Fox News USA. The Peel P50 is a barn find in the 2018 racing video game Forza Horizon 4 that we all come to uh, come to know and love. The player, the player character is able to find an example of a 60s era model abandoned in a barn and taking possession of it and ultimately restoring it to drivable conditions. The in-game version can manage speeds of 38 miles per hour, which is faster than the P50 could go. The in-game version also has a reverse gear, which the P50 also lacks. So in conclusion of all our findings based on this car, from my personal experience in the game, the car is a very, 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 very fun car to drive. It can be sometimes very loosey, but I still enjoy it nevertheless. You know, with a company such as Peel and where they are come from with their history, to this day, Peel is still around, but I'm not sure whether if they still produce like these types of small mini cars. I know that they were trying they try to make a models a couple models of electric uh, mo, um, gas and fun they have the three types and I think they went with just gas and electric but so far from what I've seen with this car and with the company I've I would have say I would have probably tried one I'm not sure but guys tell me what you think in the comments below and what you think about the peel p50 and the company itself or if you have anything to share about your experience with a peel 50 please feel free to comment below if you enjoyed this episode please like also share it and subscribe to join the initial crew all right everyone you have a great day respect